Hey guys, and welcome back to another Design Together workshop. I'm Ahmed, and in this video, I'll be talking to you about frames. So frames are the core concept in Figma. You can build pretty much anything in Figma using frames. Maybe I can build myself a girlfriend in Figma using frames. If you're familiar with other software tools like Sketch or Illustrator, you can kind of think of frames like artboards, but they can do a little bit more than just be the main viewport artboard, like a desktop or an iPhone. You can actually use frames to build components like buttons, sliders, and all sorts of other things. So let's take a look at what we can do with frames in Figma. Let's start by creating a frame. And you can do that by either going to the toolbar and selecting the frame element, or you can hit F on the keyboard, drag on the canvas to create a custom frame. And you can also select one of the preset options from the right side panel. I'm gonna go with desktop. So frames are like containers. And if you're a developer, you can kind of think of frames like div containers. They can contain objects, shapes, text elements, and other frames inside of them. Let's design a header component for a website. We'll first need to add a frame inside our desktop frame. And I'm gonna do that by hitting F on the keyboard and dragging inside the desktop frame. I'm gonna rename my frame to header. Can't spell apparently, no notification. And I'm going to give this frame a color or a fill of blue. Great. You'll notice on the top of the right panel, you have a few alignment options, and these will align the object relative to its parent frame. So in this case, it'll align the header notification frame relative to the desktop frame. So if we click left, it'll align it to the left, right, center, top, bottom, and vertical center. So you can also use frames to align objects relative to other objects in a selection. So if you were to duplicate this frame, and you can do that by hitting Command D on the keyboard, or just hold Option down and drag to the desired space. And if you hit Command D now, actually, it'll create new instances of that object with the same spacing applied. So if we're to grab all these objects, and I'm just going to change them a bit just for demonstration purposes. So you can select all these objects and have them all aligned to the left of each other, the right, center aligned, or you can click this tidy up button here, and this will create even spacing between all your elements. I'm gonna delete these for now, and let's get back to creating our header and notification component. I'm gonna bring down this height a bit, and I'm gonna hold option down while dragging the sides to increase both sides equally. Now we're gonna to wanna to add a text element inside this header notification frame. I'm gonna do that by hitting T on the keyboard and dragging inside the frame. I'm gonna say this is a notification. Click here to learn more. Now notice that the lines broke past 367. They broke into two lines. We want it so that the text element grows according to the text inside of it. So we're gonna to need to set this text element property to auto width. I'm going to drag it down a bit. I want 16 padding on the top, and I'm just holding Option down to see the spacing. Maybe bring down a height a bit here. One more. And that should be 16. Perfect. I'm gonna center it. I'm going to give it a white fill. And I'm gonna maybe add a underline to this text. And there you go, you have a header notification. Frames can also contain images inside of them as backgrounds. So if you were to add another frame to the canvas and hit fill, you can change this fill to image. You can change it to any image you want. You can also contain shapes inside a frame. So if you were to add a shape like a rectangle, I'm gonna do that by hitting R on the keyboard. Or you can go to the top toolbar and select a shape. Now to contain both these shapes inside of a frame, I'm just going to select them both, hit Option Command G, and now they're both inside of the frame. I'm 
and center them. They're centered to my desktop frame. Great. So in this example, we used frames to create a header notification component. We applied a image background to a frame, and we also contained two shapes inside of a frame. I'd encourage you to play around a little bit more with frames to get a better feel of how they work. Be sure to check out the next video on constraints to learn how you can apply constraints to your frames.